One of the most popular holsters on the market, the Blackhawk Serpa. A really versatile and quick draw design, not only for military law enforcement, but also for civilians. This is proving itself to be a really incredible system. Serpa. Now, while I've known about the popularity and have wanted a Serpa holster, I have delayed my purchase. I just got an order in from Tactical Defender, and I decided I wanted to go ahead and make the plunge. I have been using the Serpa quite a bit from a lot of different friends, uh, doing a lot of testing. Now, one of the beauties of the Serpa is not necessarily uh, its quick draw, which is very quick. Uh, no straps. There's nothing to impede the fast, rapid movement, but it retains itself in the holster very securely. And that's one of the things I really like about this holster. Now for such a small holster, this <laughs> comes in a fairly large box, but it, there are good reasons. Very versatile system. And we're going to take a look. I, this isn't the first time I've opened this, but I just wanted to show you the packaging. I've actually had this for a few weeks now, and I've been testing it. So we're going to take a look at all the different features of the Serpa system. Now this is the Serpa concealment version. It comes with the belt attachment here and uh, it does have this little, this is just a piece to keep it shaped that can be left in the box. But the one thing that the Serpa is very famous for is this paddle design. This releases the pistol and I bought this one for the Glock 17. Of course, as you can see, the gun is unloaded. Now one of the most important elements to understand is the one hand master grip. Gripping the pistol and keeping your finger in this position onto the upper part of the frame, lower part of the slide, until you find your target, sure of your backstop, have your sights in line, and then you transition your finger. So the one thing that the Serpa does and is designed to do is to get your finger on the master, uh, the one hand master grip. Here, I automatically have my hand in the one hand master grip. I depress and pull forward. It should remain in the one hand master grip. If I am slipping onto the trigger, pulling down, and my finger is slipping, it's actually slipping down to the trigger guard. Keep this finger straight, and it will keep you from having any difficulty with this system. The way it's set up now is for a belt. And as you can see, the belt just goes in. You can adjust the tension here to address whatever belt you want. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this in a minute, but I'm going to have to remove these to put it on my contractor's belt, which I want to demonstrate. But I wanted to show it first with it attached to show you how it comes. It also has adjustments here and here, so you can adjust the angle of the holster to where you like it a very versatile system. In fact, I, I don't know of any system that is so versatile. Here we use the Phillips head screwdriver. Really simple to pull this. It's a short screw so you want to be careful that you don't lose it. It falls out. Again, this can be moved to a smaller closure and then you can retighten your screw or in the, what I'm doing, I'm going to need to remove this altogether, and it just comes right off. Now here I have it attached to my contractor's belt, which is a nice thick belt. This is from U.S. Grunt Gear. I love this belt. Is when attaching any holster to a belt to have a good sturdy platform. It's very important, vital. You know, you pick out a great holster, you put a flimsy belt on, you're going to get what you pay for. Okay, here, as you can see, very quick. I want to show you how quick. Good solid. It's a very natural flow. To me, there, I don't ever find myself with my finger in the trigger guard at all. But let me say one thing. Muscle memory is super important. If you ever find yourself in a situation where you're drawing to save your life or the life of your loved ones, tunnel vision kicks in. That's where muscle memory will take over. Very quick, just natural movement. We're going to remove the belt section. Again, you don't want to lose these screws. They're short, but strong.
this plate comes off keep it in a safe place use the existing screws now we're going to attach this to the holster the paddle and as you can see the screws the holes line up just right and then of course you can angle this however you want to in the desired position Now that we have the holster attached to the paddle, I used it to decide where I needed to put my belt hooks. This is for the inside of the pants, this hook, but you need to have your belt hooks. And mine go all the way to the bottom. So what I want to do is first just place it into the slot at the bottom. This will be the back of your holster. And then you want to turn this in the upward position, either with a coin or a large flathead screwdriver. Now the one advantage of the paddle, of course, is that you can attach your holster without loosening or removing your belt. It does fit in nicely. Also, because of the hooks on the underneath of your belt and your pants, it's a very stable platform. Keeping that one hand master grip, the master grip is very important until you make acquisition with your sights and you know your backstop ready to fire the pistol then you transition your finger out of the one hand master grip. The Serpa holster is made from a carbon fiber uh, polymer. This is not Kydex. Uh, the, the Kydex is susceptible to weather changes, which it's hot, it, of course it expands, cold, it contracts. It can be very difficult to remove your pistol in a Kydex holster. This is a uh, carbon fibers are very strong. They retain their original uh, shape of the, and then with the polymer coming in, it's a very strong design, not susceptible to weather, which gives you a lot of consistency. Also, what is important about the Black Hawk that it, over many other of these type holsters is that it is a one-piece injected design. This is a the polymer is injected into a single mold, and as you can see, there's nothing attaching this together. The holster itself, it is a one-piece. Many of your other holsters have attachment points. This is a little. This is a stronger, slicker, smoother design. Now one of the things recommended by Blackhawk is to use a silicone spray onto your uh, Serpa holster, not oil based such as WD-40 or anything like that. It needs to be a silicone. The polymer will absorb silicone, it will not absorb oil. And what you want to do is you want to spray into this area right here where the Serpa lock is and then along the top. You'll want to wipe this out to keep it clean so there's not a lot of excess. This will really make your draw very quick. Now you'll want to do this before you start, um, start messing around with your retention screw so and your adjustment screws. You want to go ahead and get this right because if you have it too slick, once you add the silicone, it will be very fast. What we do is once we add the silicone then we begin to adjust here to find what kind of tension we need on our pistol. This retention screw will not adjust the uh, impact of your holster itself. It doesn't compress the holster and make it more difficult to come out. What it does is it adjusts the Serpa locking system itself. So the, the tighter you tie this in the more that the locking system is going to be resting on the front inside of your trigger guard. Once you get to a certain place, it will be impossible to remove it. So you adjust it in increments. This will also take out a lot of the play in the pistol. Now we're going to take a look at the paddle system here. And as you push down, it releases the lock. This right here. 
it just pulls it up. It's a very simple design, which I really like simplicity. Keeping it simple, and that's less that can fail. Here we see again, it just, just like a seesaw, just lifts up and then lowers back down. Do not curl your finger to hit that button. It's a natural place to pull. And as you can watch, it's very natural just to press and pull out. Then your finger is resting on the top of the frame. Now the concealment holster has the speed cut design. And what this does is when you bring your holster out, you are quick, it's very easy and rapid to move it away from the holster. And some of their other holsters, they actually have a guard here that comes up to even protect the rear sights. But for concealed carry and for the individual, for a civilian CCW permit holder, this still works just fine. Also, you're able to get your master grip complete here. I have my hand exactly like I would with the hand up. There's no transition. There's no uh, adjusting. Grab, press, and pull. Now the Serpa is dedicated to certain models. And it, this one in particular is for the Model 17, the Model 22, and the Model 31 Glock. I do have a Model 23 that is a lot of the same exact dimensions of my Model 17. And it will fit into the holster. Don't be tempted to carry it this way. Uh, I am tempted, honestly. But with the Serpa system itself, it's inherent to fit one pistol, one frame size. And because of the difference in leverage here, there is going to be a lot more play. They make holsters for the Model 23, the Model 19. I just want to recommend that you keep it with the pistol that it's designed for. Now, as you can see, it does not, it retains the, the pistol itself. And here we have an excellent retention. It is not coming out. Also, unless someone is very familiar with the Serpa locking system, they cannot pull this gun from your holster. You can place it back into your holster, and they're going to have a very difficult time unless they press the right button to remove it. The Blackhawk Serpa Concealment Holster. I highly recommend this very versatile and incredibly strong and fast holster for self-defense, or for other applications. Pick this up from TacticalDefender.com. Great source for tactical gear, for knives, gun gear. Uh, Tim is really good. Keeps very fast shipping and uh, great pricing. I believe this was $38.99, and then you get a 10% discount using the suits and the coupon code. So a great buy, great source. Check it out. I have all the information down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. The Black Hawk Serpa Holsters. <laughs> um, there's a lot of great things. I have a, a nice, um, so unbeatable price. Uh, check it out. Uh, TAC Pro Lights that I'm going to be using. TAC Light Pros. Damn, just like blah, 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 blah.